Throughout your time at Colorado State University, you have been challenged, encouraged, and celebrated. Recently, every extraordinary accomplishment has felt a little different. Yet through innovation, hard work, and limitless imagination, you have shown what it means to be truly stalwart. As a community, we have experienced adversity and heartfelt moments. It is in our character to come together, lift each other up, and embody the statement we frequently hear, Rams take care of Rams. This is a time of wonder and a time to celebrate and be proud of all that you have accomplished. To the class of 2021, your experiences at CSU provided a foundation to achieve new heights. And it is your turn to look towards the future to shape your communities and the world. Welcome to the commencement ceremony of Colorado State University's 2021 graduates. I'm the Provost and Executive Vice President Mary Pedersen, and it is my pleasure and privilege to join your families and friends and our faculty and staff in celebrating you today. Congratulations to you. Please join us as we begin this ceremony with the National Anthem performed by our very own CSU musicians and with the colors presented by Colorado State University's Air Force ROTC's Wing Walker Honor Guard. Thank you to the Wing Walker Honor Garden, our musical performers, and to all who have made this virtual ceremony possible. I am proud and honored to introduce CSU's land acknowledgement. It is important that we not lose sight of the need to remember the history of the land on which our institution stands, especially in this virtual, physically distanced world, shrouded by a pandemic. Whenever or however our community gathers, we have a responsibility to share the land acknowledgement. We do this to respect and reflect upon the sacrifices made by the indigenous communities who were the original stewards of CSU land. Tribal communities were displaced and ultimately harmed to gain the land that has enabled this institution to serve a mission of education and research for more than 150 years. We are grateful to the CSU's indigenous faculty, staff, and students, as well as the non-indigenous members of our community who contributed to our land acknowledgement. This beautiful video presentation was produced by CSU's Native American Advisory Council as a powerful affirmation of the acknowledgement and to remind us all of our relationship to each other and this land.
Colorado State University acknowledges with respect that the land we are on today is the traditional and ancestral homelands of the Arapaho, Cheyenne, and Ute nations and peoples. This was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for numerous other Native nations. We recognize the indigenous peoples as original stewards of this land and all the relatives within it. As these words of acknowledgement are spoken and heard, the ties nations have to their traditional homelands are renewed and reaffirmed. CSU is a land-grant institution and we accept that our mission must encompass access to education and inclusion. And significantly, that our founding came at a dire cost to Native nations and peoples whose land this university was built upon. This acknowledgement is the education and inclusion we must practice in recognizing our institutional history, responsibility, and commitment. Dear graduates, we celebrate so much for you today. Your successes, your brilliance, your future, and we know great things await you. There is a profound legacy to which we are all connected as CSU Rams, more than 150 years across multiple generations and identities, one that you have influenced and shaped in your presence here. You should take enormous pride in that. Now that you move forward to make your mark and contribution to the world as you have here at CSU, take with you the principles of community, all that you have learned here, and the shared experiences with your peers, your professors, and this institution. We take pride in knowing that you chose to be a RAM and that you are forever part of CSU, its legacy and history. The late poet, award-winning author, educator, and civil rights activist, Dr. Maya Angelou once said, if you're going to live, leave a legacy. Make a mark on the world that can't be erased. Angelou was perhaps best known for her 1969 memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, which made literary history as the first nonfiction bestseller by an African-American woman. In addition to her literature, she contributed so much to this world through her voice, other talents, intellect, compassion, and strength. She is one of humankind's extraordinary legacies. Through your life experiences, learning, and achievements, you have started to build your own personal legacy, as did your peers who came before you and those who will follow you. There is much ahead for you, and your journey has just begun. As you venture into your future, embrace the challenges ahead of you. Create and capture opportunities to make the world better. Build your legacy, make your mark, one that cannot be erased. I want to close with more wisdom by Maya Angelou. This is from a commencement speech that she gave in 1982. Her message stands true for you today as it did for that graduating class nearly 40 years ago. She said, of all your attributes, your youth, your beauty, your wit, your kindness, your money, courage is indeed your greatest achievement. It is the greatest of all of your virtues, for without courage you cannot practice any other virtues with consistency. No doubt it has taken incredible courage for you to get where you are today, especially this past year. I know you have worked hard to succeed in your studies, your research, your service, and employment, for your family and community, yourself, and your future. In your time at CSU, especially in the unprecedented challenges you have faced with the pandemic, you've begun to define your character, your courage, and who you are and who you want to be. Now it is your time to make your mark on the world and I know you will do great things. Congratulations to you and your family, your friends, and all who have supported you. Madam President, the 2021 Spring and Summer Graduating Class 
of Colorado State University is virtually assembled. Thank you, Provost Pedersen. Congratulations to our 2021 graduates and a special welcome to all the family and friends joining us to celebrate the hard work and achievements of those whose academic journeys will culminate today with the recognition of each graduate and conferral of their degrees. It is important to have the people you love, the people who have supported you in ways too numerous to count be able to share this important day. I am so glad all of you could join us. I know this is not how any of us pictured the culmination of your academic careers at Colorado State University. But we know the importance of celebrations, and this one marks a significant and meaningful milestone, the end of one journey and the beginning of another. Graduates, over the past year, you have exhibited incredible strength and resilience. These are qualities you share with past generations who also experience difficult times, times of war, times of economic upheaval, and yes, even times of pandemic. I believe that resilience is rooted both in our land-grant mission and in the special qualities of the students who choose Colorado State. This university was born in a nation undergoing tremendous change and was designed to meet some of its most critical needs. It is a place founded on a revolutionary commitment to offering broad access and generating new knowledge, knowledge our graduates have used for generations to meet the world's biggest and most complex challenges. All of you inherit that legacy of resilience and will carry it forward. You have shown an amazing ability to adapt and persevere, not just to survive in difficult times, but to thrive. And keep in mind, as you transition from college to career, that your learning isn't coming to an end. In many ways, it's just beginning. You leave here with the knowledge and the skills to excel in the careers you've chosen, but it's possible that your real dream job is still somewhere out there in your future. It's possible it doesn't even exist yet. You're entering a world where change remains a constant, where the needs of the workforce and the size and scope of the challenges will continue to accelerate and evolve. But whatever those challenges may be, whenever and wherever you encounter them, you will be prepared. You have the skills and abilities, and you have the creativity and critical thinking to transform yourselves when challenges and opportunities arise. You will gain wisdom with every experience. You will be ready. Our CSU community has a powerful, shining, bold spirit, one of born of hope and optimism, one that cannot be dimmed by challenges. For more than 150 years, it has endured, growing brighter and stronger, particularly in the face of adversity. Your achievements are now part of that long, proud history. Colorado State University's class of 2021 set a standard of resilience and perseverance that will endure for future generations. Wherever you go from here, you will remain members of a CSU community of brilliant minds, great hearts, and an indomitable resilience. Our Ram family reaches around the world, honoring our storied past and embracing our shared future. Ready to confront is increasingly complex challenges. I am delighted to celebrate all of you. On behalf of the entire CSU community, congratulations. And now I am thrilled to be able to welcome our spring 2021 commencement speaker from Philadelphia, Kareem Rosser. 
Kareem earned his degree in economics from CSU in 2016. And many of you will recall him leading our CSU polo team to a national championship in 2015 when he also was named the U.S. Polo Association's Intercollegiate Player of the Year. Economics and polo have remained among his passions since graduation. Kareem is pursuing a career as a financial analyst in Philadelphia and continues to compete in polo tournaments around the world. And in the best tradition of CSU alums, he is also working to improve the lives of others, to give back to the communities that support us, and to make the world a better place. He serves as treasurer on the board of Work to Ride, the program that taught him to ride and take care of horses. Since 2015, Kareem has raised more than $800,000 to support at-risk youth and the program that gave him a future in polo. In February, Kareem released his first book, Crossing the Line, a fearless team of brothers and the sport that changed their lives forever. It tells his own inspirational story and the stories of the people who were his mentors when he was growing up in one of Philadelphia's toughest neighborhoods. He's been featured on 60 Minutes, ESPN, and The Today Show. And today he's here to share his insights and experiences with us. We are so excited to welcome this remarkable individual and CSU graduate, Kareem Rosser. Hey, class of 2021, congratulations. You conquered one of the most difficult academic years in recent history, and you reached an incredible milestone during a pandemic. I am beyond proud of you. You really show Ram toughness. As you prepare for the next chapter, I imagine many of you are excited and some even nervous. I have no doubt this class is ready to take on whatever is waiting for you next. Commencement is a meaningful ceremony, but it's not the final goal you've been working towards. It's part of the larger journey of life. Wherever your future takes you, life is a journey. And all accomplishments we achieve during its course should be taken as starting points for further achievement. Your graduation serves as a launching point, whether you're headed to a new career, continuing your education, or exploring another avenue entirely. As you make your transition, you will inevitably face new challenges. This was true for me too when I was in your position. A few weeks after graduation, I began working as a financial analyst. The first six months were overwhelming as I struggled to maintain a healthy work-life balance. There were moments, just like my time during at CSU, when I wanted to quit. As a student, I failed multiple tests as a student athlete, I lost many games, but I did not let the failing moments define me. Instead, I look back at my struggles as a college student and how I chose to persevere. I used my challenges as motivation to pursue a greater goal, to become the first member of my family to receive a college degree. Now you, like me, I have the honor of calling ourselves CSU graduates. Now it's time to put the knowledge you've gained over the last four years to use. CSU has equipped you with the tools to create your own plan. Creating your plan does not mean success will come overnight. As we experienced this past year, life forces us to adjust. The pandemic delayed my first significant capital raise as the lead analyst. I did not let the challenges of the virus dictate my success. I pivoted and remain patient. There will be moments you feel discouraged, but you have already proven to be resilient. You have, reached, you have received an education from one of the greatest institutions in the world, and I know you're prepared. You're about to close one door while simultaneously open a new one. I'm encouraging you to walk through with confidence. As I said before, life, is a journey and you do not stop growing once you get your diploma. Today, you have a lot to celebrate 
Enjoy this moment and the best of luck to all of you. Go Rams. Thank you, President McConnell, Provost Pedersen, and thank you, Mr. Rosser, for your inspirational words. I'm Jan Nerger, and I serve as the Dean of the College of Natural Sciences. I want to take this moment to honor and congratulate you, our 2021 graduates. Our college is one of the largest at Colorado State University. We have nearly 5,000 undergraduate students and 700 graduate students who call natural sciences their home. We are comprised of the departments of biochemistry and molecular biology, biology, chemistry, computer science, mathematics, physics, psychology, and statistics. Commencement is a milestone moment. It's one that you've been working toward and looking forward to since stepping onto campus. A time to cherish and celebrate with family and friends who've been such an important part of your academic journey. While we cannot come together in person to celebrate your accomplishments, do not let this take away from the joy and pride you should be feeling. What you've accomplished is extraordinary. Fewer than 30% of Americans over age 25 hold a bachelor's degree, less than 10% a master's degree, and less than 2% a PhD. Your education sets you apart and it positions you for success. You've gained foundational skills, trained your mind to think critically, to problem solve, and to adapt. And now is the time you will need to rely on all those skills. As graduates, you are forever united as members of the CSU family. Take pride in how far you have come and have confidence and courage in how far you can go. Show the world, even now in such challenging times, that you, our 2021 graduates, are up for the challenge and ready to make a difference in the world. Reframe challenges into opportunities and face those opportunities head on. Be generous to the world with your talents, respect and appreciate differences in others you encounter, and use your CSU education for good and worthwhile purposes. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I encourage all of you graduates to continue to dream big and to pursue those dreams. The future truly belongs to you. Once again, congratulations. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the formal conferral of your degrees. President McConnell, these candidates have completed all the requirements established by the various departments and the college for their degrees. With the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Natural Sciences, it is my pleasure to present them to you for conferring of their degrees. With the recommendation of the faculty by the authority invested in me by the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System and the State of Colorado, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Now we welcome you to join us in the Colorado State University alma mater led by our very own musicians coming to us from the University Center for the Arts. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. Welcome 2021 classmates to our virtual commencement. 
We didn't let the changes and uncertainty of a pandemic stop us from graduating. We made it. Thinking back to when we first started our time as undergrads at CSU, we each had an idea of what our life would look like when it came time to graduate. Throughout the time between the nervousness and excitement of our first classes to the grind of our last final exams, the vision for what this moment would look like changed, along with many things in our lives. When I was a freshman thinking about the next four years of my life, I thought I'd be playing volleyball for CSU. After an injury and hearing horror stories about organic chemistry, which turned out to be untrue, the time I thought I'd spend playing volleyball quickly turned into time I devoted to studying biochemistry and working in the DPHRO research lab. We all have our own individual story, but regardless of what that story is, we all face change. Some of us changed majors, some found new interests and hobbies. We met new friends and our connection to our family changed. While all of this change is an expected and even important part of the college experience, I am confident that none of us could have ever imagined the forced changes brought on by a pandemic. Suddenly, everything changed and almost nothing felt familiar, especially the way we attended classes. We never thought that we would spend our last year attending classes from our bed or kitchen table and that we would miss sitting in an old Clark Building classroom. We used to wish we could stay home and now being in a classroom surrounded by our classmates feels special, even exciting. While the classes we took helped us prepare for future careers, all the changes we faced are what have truly prepared us for life. The good, the bad, the expected, and the unexpected provided us with many skills. It showed us how to be flexible, persevere, and work hard. It gave us all the tools we needed to be ready for the changes that we're going to experience after graduation. Whether you are continuing to graduate school, starting a career in your field of study, or still figuring out what's next, our lives are once again going to change. We will again make new friends, find new hobbies, or move to a new city. Regardless of what you're doing next, you have the skills to succeed. In fact, the class of 2021 is probably the most adaptable, resilient, and ready to take on the world more so than any in generations. While we will continue to experience change for the rest of our lives, one thing will remain the same. We will always be Rams. Now, let us take this time to recognize and celebrate each of you. Congratulations, class of 2021. Go change the world. Dear Spring 2021 Biochemistry and Molecular Biology graduates, I am Professor Lori Stargell, and it is my honor to chair our amazing department. First and foremost, I want to congratulate you on your wonderful academic accomplishments. You are trailblazers and scholars, ready to apply your knowledge to enhance and advance the world we live in. Many of you are probably frustrated due to canceled ceremonies like our commencement, but I do hope your celebrations can proceed with small groups of family and friends. In the midst of all our global changes, it's important to pause to acknowledge your resilience, your intellect, and your grit. You have met all the tough requirements of our rigorous biochemistry degree and had to immediately learn the larger lessons of the uncertainties of life today. I hope you remain optimistic and maintain your inner voice as an encouraging coach as you make active progress towards your goals. All of your studying, researching, reading, writing, test taking, and presenting has finally paid off. You are unstoppable, and I have no doubt that you will continue to succeed. Please stay in touch with the department so we can share in your future accomplishments, and I wish you the best of luck.
graduates, congratulations on finishing your degree. It's a huge milestone and in the years of COVID, we really need to acknowledge that extra measure of adaptability, determination, and resilience that it's taken to get you this far. So great job and wishing you the best at the next chapter of your life. A science degree in the year 2021 has a lot of opportunities and it's really needed in society. We have medical issues, we have issues with the planet, and more broadly, we as a society need educated people to make rational decisions about our world, relying on reason and evidence more so than fear. And I hope that as you leave CSU, you will be able to take and apply your education on many fronts and will um, have a very successful and rich life from starting from the experiences that you've had with us. So best wishes and congratulations again.
Chemistry graduates, this is Matt Shores, Chair of the Chemistry Department. On behalf of my faculty and staff colleagues, I want to congratulate you on a job well done. I wish we could do a real ceremony. I'll be honest, it's nice to not have to listen to long, boring speeches, but it really is moving when I get to shake hands and fist bump with all of our graduates. Nevertheless, remember that you have a family with us in the chemistry department. We are proud of you. We look forward to seeing you do great things in the world. Please don't be a stranger. Come on back and visit us when we can see each other in person again. Take care, good luck, and go Rams. Hello everybody, I'm Craig Partridge, Chair of the Department of Computer Science. In the lovely words of a commencement that I attended many years ago, it is my distinct honor to welcome you into the company of educated women and men. Congratulations. The degrees you are receiving are a sign of tremendous achievement, and as you go out into the world and make it a better place, I wish you all only the best. Congratulations.
like to congratulate both Dawson Eliasson and Ryan Volkert for becoming the first two students to graduate from the data science program at Colorado State University. In this, only its third year of existence. Dawson is graduating with the statistics concentration. Ryan is graduating with the economics concentration and is in fact a triple major in data science, economics, and theater. I am pleased that these two quite different and challenging concentrations provided the programs that Dawson and Ryan were seeking. I very much look forward to staying in touch with them and learning where a data science degree takes them. And I will be eager to hear their feedback on which components of the program served them well. This is new and exciting territory. I hope there will be many more graduates following in their footsteps. Hi, I'm Ken McLaughlin, Chair of the Math Department at Colorado State University. Here to proudly declare that the folks in the Department of Mathematics are the hobbits of the College of Natural Sciences. Some members of this department struggle for weeks, for months, for years even, to pull out of the very depths of despair an idea, a single notion that can become a new grain of truth to withstand the test of time. Some mathematicians theorize about techniques for handling and using data for the betterment of society data of such enormous size that there are not even names for the number of bits of data involved, let alone machines capable of crunching their monstrosity. Still others study the way we learn mathematics and how, where we come from, and our preconceptions help or hinder that learning. And we teach, and we teach a lot, not just our majors, but we teach everyone, and we live, we live for all of that. So on behalf of the entire Department of Mathematics, for your dedication over these prime years, through bouts of self-doubt and the heights of camaraderie aimed at the acquisition of knowledge, I offer congratulations to Colorado State University's 2021 graduates.
Hello, I'm Jacob Roberts, Professor and Chair in the Department of Physics. On behalf of the entire department, congratulations to all of the College of Natural Sciences graduates, especially those from physics. Attaining degree is no small thing. It's a huge accomplishment that can truly be and usually is life-changing. It represents a lot of work, effort, growth, and learning. You should be extraordinarily proud of your accomplishment. Commencement is like the end of the chapter in a book, but it's not the last chapter. It's an important moment in the story of your life, in part because of all the great and exciting things to come. We're looking forward to the next parts of the story. But for today, we want to offer our congratulations again on the attainment of your degree. We're very happy for you and extremely proud of your accomplishments. Hi, I'm Don Rojas. As chair of the Department of Psychology, it's my privilege to record this video celebrating your graduation as a psychology major. A bachelor's degree is an important waypoint on your life journey. The graduation ceremony marks an end to your undergraduate education. Some of you will continue your education in psychology and others will pursue different endeavors, but you will all have the opportunity to employ your unique perspective on human behavior. A bachelor's degree in psychology therefore also marks the beginning of your journey as a scholar of human behavior in whatever field of employment you choose to apply it. I wish you good luck in your adventures, wherever they may take you. Congratulations and go Rams.
Hi, I'm Hao Nan Wang, Chair of the Statistics Department. I'm very happy to record this video marking the celebration of your graduation as statistics majors. I would like to congratulate you on your great achievement in these difficult and exceptional times. College graduation is a milestone in our lives. All faculty of the Statistics Department are very proud of what you have accomplished and how much you contributed to the vitality of our program. I'm certain that the education you received will help you to succeed in your professional career, whichever path you choose, private enterprise, government, or graduate school. If your families are watching this message, I also thank them for supporting a wonderful student. I'm hoping that as you continue on your life's journey, you will remember your alma mater, the professors and friends you have met here. Please remember that you are always being a part of the Rams family.